What growth pains were you talking about? You know, growth pains certainly, which have shown, have been the fact that um, we do have a shortage of housing. We had a, a study done about a year ago in the community, funded by, in part, by the Economic Development Council, and that showed we were like 4,000, 4,300 units short. And so um, that's good news to developers. They come back to town. They start looking for you know, open land, uh, undeveloped property. And so, um, you know, the dirt begins to get turned over. And if the neighbors to the east or west saw that, gosh, that field's been there for the last 10 years, you know, suddenly this has changed. And so that can be, that can be painful. So how should the town manage that particular instance of pain? What I've been doing personally, and and I think our staff and the collective council um, have been doing, is really just trying to be a conduit of communication for the neighbors and to help them... Um, through the process, understand the process of, say, planning commission, meeting with developers, getting an understanding of what's being planned, why, and um, and just really listening. And I think we've had a couple of examples recently where the developers, after a couple of uh, one or two meetings with residents nearby, made some changes to their plan, maybe changed access points or changed um, some of the layout. And, uh, and I think that, that I'd like to see more of that happen. Should the town ever make it formal and require it to happen? Um, you know, I don't like to overregulate, so um, I think we can certainly set a um, a practice pattern, and I think that's what's being established right now. What other growing pains need to be managed, and how should they be managed? Other growing pains. Um, you know, I think we want to be business friendly, and um, so to the extent that we can keep bureaucracy to a minimum, fees to a minimum, um, make it easy for developers who see that next great project for normal Illinois, be open and welcoming, um, not only at the staff level, but also especially at the council level.